what's up everybody i'm back welcome to my channel for those of you who do not know me i'm Callie. um this is my channel it's super random today's gonna absolutely be no different because i have a serious topic i want to discuss like a really serious topic i center myself all right if you have yet to subscribe to my channel please take this moment hit that subscribe button Hit the bell so you're notified when I upload more videos because I'm telling you one of these days, if there isn't already, there will be a video just for you. Yes, you. Just for you. There will be one just for you. So, take the time. Hit the subscribe button. You won't regret it. And if you do, tell me about it. Say, you know what? I subscribe to you and you suck. Sure. I can take it. Um, other than that, I have a bunch of links below. I do a lot of different things. Uh, so yeah, check me out. I'm working on a new channel. Finally, it's going to be called The Nova Story. Nova Story because I want to help people remember themselves by learning the story of the stars, learning the story of the planets, learning the story of the inner realm. So I'm excited. I've been working on that. When I get it launched, you guys will be the first to know because you've been with me through it all. So thank you for that support. I appreciate all of you so much. Um, but yeah, today's a serious topic. It's like real serious because it's like real serious. And I don't like to get super serious, even though I have to sometimes because what's going on, it seems serious. In this realm, you know, in the physical world, what we're facing are serious times. So I have to kind of shift into this serious energy to get the point across. So my question to you is, who the is raising your children? Who's raising your children? Who's raising our children? I'm going to repeat this. Who is raising your child, your children, your blood, your future generations who is raising them who is teaching them who is molding them you may be feeding them you may be housing them you may be clothing them and good job i'm not negating that it's not easy i know but who's teaching them who's teaching them how to be good humans who's teaching them how to have love and compassion and care for each other who's teaching them how to survive in this realm how to feed themselves. How to communicate. How to respect. Who is teaching them? Seriously. I'm being so dead serious because you know what I see? I see something that makes me sick. I see something that's not cool. It's not cool. All right, listen. I'm going to get into this because guess what? Who's all stuck home with their kids? You. You're stuck home with your kid. You're stuck home with your creation. And guess what? You're having a hell of a time. You know why? Because you didn't raise that creation. Who, it, who did? You let the TV raise that creation. You let the school raise and mold that creation. So you look at your child and you say, I didn't raise this. Because you didn't. You just fed, closed, and housed it. All right? Look, this is serious. This is serious. This is so serious. Because do you understand how the TV and these schools are programming your children? How they're not teaching them morals or ethic or virtue or how to be a decent human? You wonder why your kid is talking to you the way? Watch what he's watching. Watch what she's watching. I was appalled by some of these things that they're showing children these days on TV. Like how, some of the things I saw being a, a child. I was just like, why would anyone let a child be subjected to this, this heresy, this, this false lies and wrong ideas? poisonous ideas who would let children be subjected to this i get it's our culture i get it's our culture to raise children on the tube i get it 
right? I was raised on a TV. You know, you know what people do? I was not aware of this. I was not aware of this. And I don't know if it even happened to me. But people will strap their children down and stick them in front of a TV so they can do whatever they have to do. What? 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 They will strap their children down? When I say strap, I mean, you know, the toys that keep them from moving. I have one. If I am desperate, if I am desperate, I put my son in his stand-up toy while I can pump, you know, because I can't chase him around while I'm on the pumping machine. I just can't. So he'll go in that stand-up toy. Or if I have to cook a meal, that's the thing about having the two parents in the household. I'm very grateful that I have the space. I know not everyone does. But listen. We have allowed ourselves to be manipulated into a system that makes us give our children to it, to raise and to mold and to form. For what? To become future slaves of the next generation. To become drones and worker freaking bees. Who are the creators? Why are we just working their system? Why are you just a cog in the machine? Why are you programming your child to be a cog in the machine? Look, we rely on community. We need each other, but not like this, not like this. What is happening is because we have allowed ourselves to get so sick beyond repair, so ill, logical. We have no logic, we're just chasing the dollar. We're just chasing blood money. We're just chasing the dead. What is our currency? All right. That's something. What is our currency? Our currency is oil, which is blood. We're using blood. That's what you work every day for. You got blood. Let me tell you, I got plenty of it. All right. I don't know. Who's raising your children? Why can't you be home with your child? Why can't you teach your child? I'm upset about this. I don't know why. Because I feel for these children who have parents who don't want to deal with them. You don't want to deal with your own creation. You know why? Because you thought that you could just go have babies. That it was no big deal. Like it was no responsibility. Trust me. We planned to have a baby. And I was like, I had no freaking idea that it would be this hard. Sure, it's beautiful. It's wonderful. It's life changing. It's the most amazing thing I've ever done. But it is not easy. But y'all out there just willy nilly like let's 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 have SES. Let's, let's do it. What comes from doing it? A baby. Can you follow through on that? Can you put in the work after you create these humans that you're putting into the world? Because they're shaping our future generation. These kids are the future. And this is on you. This is on you because you had no control over your own creation because you didn't care enough. Or you didn't understand. You didn't take the time to stop and think. You were too busy trying to survive, trying to chase the money. You didn't stop and think what you were inadvertently doing to your children. I don't know how this video is going to come across, but listen, I just had to get it out. Now's the time. Take control of your child because guess what? You're going to send them out into the world, and one day you're going to say, man, what did I do so wrong? I'll tell you what you did wrong. You let the TV raise them. You let the school raise them. Sure, some kids are beautiful kids, regardless of how the system transforms them. But I know a lot of people are struggling with kids that talk bad to them, who put them down, who scream them, who hit them, who do some really crazy stuff to their own parents. And it's because of everything that they've been taking in on these TVs and what they're learning at school with the kids around them. Who's in control of your child? Who's teaching your child? If it's not you, it's someone else. What are you trying to instill in your child for the future? We need to be conscious parents. We need to raise our children consciously of everything that will affect them in the future. That's it, you guys. I know this was like a weird video. I don't know how I went there, but I had to go there. So other than that, I'll see you guys next time.